you got to drink them. So hurry up, put old Finn to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Oh, thing. Ah. Now, come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your luck. I'll have one, Finn. A gift. Bounty. Libation? You. Me? You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump! We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! Oh, 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 oh,
gonna let this go, are they? Over there! They got on the back! Got more coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot them then! You think we wouldn't find you? Hi, this Arthur, coming out of the alley! Watch your back! I want both those sons of bitches dead! How many are there? They really aren't happy about this! You fools are playing the Never to take up a career in, what was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. 
Payback. Hmm. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. You managing not to kill Pearson? Only well, just. You ain't got problems with your hey there, Charles. Evening, Arthur. I'll tell you what I'm bored of. Being laughed at. Bored of being the fun of it. Oh, I'm not sure I appreciate your smell. Mary Beth. It's put me Evening. off my meal. Don't you take a bath. Please, I will not put up with So, still glad you fell in with this bunch? I think so, most of the time. They're not so bad. Okay, then. Hi there, Arthur. Hey. You good? Yeah. Mr. Morgan? Hi, Karen. How's it all going? I am fantastic. 